where do you think the next great music or art is going to come from? Do you think it's going to come from the Marxist left? Popular music critic Anthony Fantano dunked on conservative propagandist Dave Rubin for his take on where the music industry is going. Dave Rubin now doing music commentary. And then uh, Fantano proceeded to embarrass every conservative that came at him. So this is so enjoyable. Uh, first, let's get to the least enjoyable aspect of this, which is the Dave Rubin clip. Here is uh, Dave Rubin sharing his thoughts on art. People need to see, and this goes to your question about what conservatives do. Conservatives need to start showing people, hey, you know, we're actually the fun people. We're the interesting people. We're the creative people. We're the open-minded people. They're all hysterical and angry and all of the things they purport us to be. But let's get out there and show people that's not who we are. We're actually having fun. And I mean, try to even think about it this way. Where do you think the next great music or art is going to come from? Do you think it's going to come from the Marxist left where you can't have any individual expression? Or do you think it's going to come from this new thing on the right? I mean, the answer is pretty obvious. All right, there you go. Dave Rubin getting into music and understanding where the industry is going. Just one problem. Dave Rubin doesn't know anything. And in fact, Anthony Fantano, who is incredibly knowledgeable on this subject, shared his thoughts on Twitter, responding to Rubin's clip saying, conservatives are not fun, creative, smart, empathetic, or interesting. That's why they don't make great art. Their art sucks ass, <laughs> period. The next great music, quoting Dave Rubin, will never come from the right ever. It hasn't so far, so why would it ever in the future? And he didn't stop there. So he uh, followed it up by saying, um, here we go, saying the best music consistently comes from the next generation of creatives looking to take risks and shake up the status quo, aesthetically or socially. Conservatism by its very nature isn't up for being daring. Radical change is literally not in the philosophical equation. I think Fantano makes an excellent point here. But of course, conservatives lost their goddamn minds. And uh, <laughs> their response is, I mean, what I'm showing you here is just a tiny fraction of the reaction that Fantano got. But let me share some of the reactions here. So um, Benjamin here replying saying Bach was a conservative. Fantana replying saying, Bach died in the 1700s, you dumbass. <laughs> Whatever warped conception of conservatism you have today doesn't even apply to the aristocratic socio-political context he existed in. He lived under a monarchy and would have shit his trousers if you showed him an iPhone. Oh God, why is Fantano so goddamn talented and funny? All right, <laughs> next, re next reply here. Uh, Steve, uh, Steve? No, Sleeve. Um says here, I'd agree that most popular creative and interesting art in any form comes from people who lean left. The entertainment industry has leaned left for decades. Uh, lean left for decades, though. So it makes sense why they'd be more represented in art. But great art isn't political. Anyone can make it. Fantano replies here saying, music access has literally been democratized over the last 10 years. If there were great conservative musicians out there dropping undeniable bangers, they'd be getting impressive numbers, but they're not because their music sucks ass and nobody with a brain wants to hear that shit. Going on to say the biggest thing you've got is mainstream country about the USA and mega church style Christianity, and that shit sucks. <laughs> Even the young supposedly edgy right wing memers getting angry at these tweets won't listen to that shit. There you go. Now look, I have a few more coming up here, but I, uh, I grew up listening to 90s country. I'm going to out myself here. I quite enjoy 90s country. Uh, but most of what I listen to, at least in terms of like, I, I enjoyed Garth Brooks a lot growing up. Garth Brooks isn't, you know, the most conservative guy. Uh, he's somewhere in the middle there. But, I, you know, as someone who is just a mainstream listener to music, I obviously can't give a real opinion on this doesn't mean that conservatives haven't put out music of course they have but looking at it from a critic's point of view which is what fantano is doing here i think he sees it as just boring horrible shit and uh <laughs> i'm not going to question his knowledge on that now jack uh, kentner here's another re reply saying like fantano you're moving the goalposts artists can have views that lean to the right and still be able to create incredible works of art and he links here article about prince raunchy prince was actually a conservative christian who reportedly opposed gay marriage. 
And uh, Fantana replied to that saying, stupid post. <laughs> Whether or not Prince or you understood it, he was absolutely radical socially and culturally during his creative peak. He was literally targeted for being filthy by the PMRC, the socio-political attack dog for Christian conservatism in the 80s and 90s. If the Christian conservatives of those decades had their way, Prince's most classic albums would be edited to death or thrown out. Same with NWA, same with Kiss, same with any artist saying anything worth hearing. You have no historical context for this convo. Please shut up. I can just imagine what it's like being in a position where you know so much about a topic that no one else can even come close to you <laughs> and trying to deal with these people that uh, don't know anything about anything, but that's clearly what Fantana was dealing with. Now, let me, this is the, the best place to end here. Lauren Southern, who of course is a well-known conservative, quote tweeting Anthony Fantana here saying, Frank Sinatra donated $4 million to Ronald Reagan's campaign. Fantana replied saying, of course, Lauren, great replacement Southern's go-to jazz singer is the definition of limited range and presentation over ability. Plus, he didn't even write his best stuff. He didn't care about the cultural context of jazz, which is why he gave that money to racist Ronnie. And then another reply here from <laughs> Lauren Southern saying, I don't understand how someone can consider themselves an art critic while knowing nothing of art history. Most music through history, the best of which we still play today, only exists due to being a glorification of the status quo, i.e. literally every classical composer. Fantano here with a good reply just saying, you've made a living out of not understanding things, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh my goodness. I did not expect this week to see Fantano dunking on Dave Rubin and uh, a whole lot of conservatives, but I gotta say, I'm glad it happened. It was highly entertaining. And Fantano is, you know... Forget industry, forget uh, whatever, you know, YouTube category you put people in. Fantano, I think, is one of the best on YouTube doing uh, what, obviously the best of what he's doing, but just in general. I mean, the man is, the content he puts out, be it on YouTube, be it on TikTok, be it on Twitch, the interviews he does, so talented, so knowledgeable, so brilliant, so entertaining. There is really, I can't think of like one celebrity that can match up to him. And this is just one example of how hilarious and talented and knowledgeable Anthony Fantano is.